Bada bing, bada boom. We're off to the races. Off to the races. This is an important episode. Milestone. Milestone. Most of my, <laughs> this is honestly big. I don't feel like a lot of podcasts get this far. They don't. They quit. Is that true to 150 episodes? Mo- yeah, most people quit like 10 episodes. Maybe 10 episodes is like max for most people, you know, if they even get 10. Yeah. But all like the ones we listen to or like or that people listen to, like you have like Mark Marin's, obviously Joe Rogan. Like, yeah, but those at- are all up to like 500, but they've been doing it since like the early late 2000s. You know what yeah. I mean? You compare us to the big dogs. Yeah, you're comparing uh, that'd be like uh, being well, so like. I'm trying to see where the middle ground is. Like, <laughs> there, are, there are the big dogs, and then where do we fall on the spectrum on the ladder? We're on our way to the being the big <laughs> dogs. No, I agree. I'm just saying. I wonder is, is is podcasting so you're either like unknown or known? Kind of. Yeah, I think so. I feel like that's how it is with a lot of things. I guess, but. Again, think about this. Podcasting. Does everyone listen to podcasts? No. No. Does everyone that listens to podcasts listen to comic book podcasts? No. Does everyone that listens to comic book podcasts smoke weed? No. So like we're a niche for sure, but you don't I say this all the time. You don't need to be a stoner to enjoy us. It just, yeah, you know, we're no. we're just genuinely funny dudes. You just need to have a little bit of class. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit of sass. No. A little bit of ass. Hey. Exactly. can't recognize th- that voice ladies and gentlemen he is our guest for today's episode welcome to comics and chronic i'm jacob h i am joined by one of my co-hosts cody cannon and today we're interviewing our co-host anthony Inacio and <laughs> joey murphy hello hello we're talking up, guys? Their, their anthology book super guy um it's not no it's in an anthology it's part it's of an, an anthology. anthology. Yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not your guys' anthology. That would actually be really or cool. The Joey, I mean, the yes. Joey <laughs> Murphy anthology. That would be sick. Hell yeah. Uh, I believe in it. Let's make it happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Where did I put my pot? Damn, man. Well, thank you for coming in. Thank you for coming on the show, Anthony, Joey. It's great to have you guys here. Absolutely. Thanks for having yeah. us. <laughs> it's our pleasure. <laughs> 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 Anthony, what's new with you? The people want to know. We haven't heard from you in a long time. Take, look, look at this. Look at this. I, I have been Whoa. working tirelessly day and night. The ill comic book setup. Comic book room setup. That's get, quite the collection. Jesus nice. Christ. Thank you. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. That's I have a lot awesome. of comics. Wait, I don't move, lie when I say that. The other way so I can see the other shelf. Damn. How, okay. How have you organized it? Are you doing Marvel, DC, independent? Like, what's yeah. So, like, on one side, it's like, well, no, alphabetical, no. So, like, I, okay, on this side is DC, <laughs> right? This side yeah. is DC. I got like Superman at the top. Okay. Next to the Flash, Green Lantern. Ba- I go by character. And then if I don't have enough of one character, I just group like all DC or, and then the other side's Marvel. I have like a Hulk shelf. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit. I have way too many comics. I admit that, but fuck it. I love comics. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> fuck. Getting moved in. Uh, yeah, I'm back in the Bronx. Back in the Bronx, representing his hometown. Yep. Nice. Did the kids come running out into the street when they knew you were coming back? <laughs> Anthony, Anthony. <laughs> We've been waiting for you. Hey, they opened the Johnny Pumps. I I was yeah. running through the streets. Exactly. It's like Richie April coming back from prison. <laughs> <laughs> I never want to be Richie April. <laughs> Nobody does. <laughs> <laughs> but what's new with Joey? Yeah, well, yeah, Joey. before we get into the Joey thing, I wanted to bring up <laughs> I mean, this is, has to do with Joey. Into the uh, Joey thing. Into before, the Joey. <laughs> before, we get, before, before we get into Joey specifics, I want you guys to talk a little bit about something you did together. Are you talking about J Dubs? Oh, see yeah. John Williams? Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to hear yes, about that. Oh this is awesome. It was so fucking cool. 
It was really cool. Yeah. How was your three way with John Williams? <laughs> oh, amazing. Dude is 91, but he can still fucking, he's got the energy of a 23 year old. <laughs> <laughs> still wet. Surprisingly. <laughs> Isn't that his nickname, John Wet Williams? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what the W in Williams stands for. <laughs> wet Willie. Wet Willie. Yeah, wet Willie. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> oh, man. oh. Yeah, no, it was, it was great though. Yeah. It was it was so cool. Like he came out, and they played all the hits. And Where was this at? Again. What what was the venue? Yeah, the Hollywood Bowl. No, the Hollywood Bowl. That's what I was thinking. I was feeling like of someone of John's caliber, that would be like the only place that could really hold it. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Not just hold it, but acoustics wise, the way the bowl mm. was built, like it's perfect. Good stuff. Is it outdoors or yeah, is it completely? In- oh, yeah. nice. That's so. This was a symphonic uh, show. Were what were there any like visual uh, accompaniments? Like any like uh, sp- yeah, uh, there was a complete laser show. <laughs> <laughs> was there really no like Pink Floyd concert? <laughs> this is a classical awesome. <laughs> nah. L.A. Philharmonic Orchestra. There's not it's not pretty lights. <laughs> <laughs> they had like TV screens that were showing like close ups of like the musicians and like you know conducting Johnny. Wills, uh, <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but that's about it. Like there was no like movie uh, yeah. medley or anything going, which is like I was hoping for. But that's what I was kind of wondering because like you see clips from like the Game of Thrones uh, yeah. symphonic show, and they do have like a light show and movies to accompany the symphony. And so yeah, I just didn't know. Didn't really do that. I mean that's nah. cool. He he just relied on the music. I think exactly. John Williams' <laughs> music is so descriptive in itself that your brain is what puts the image up. And because his music, sure. his music is literally accompanying every I- iconic movie, like as soon as he plays the first note of Star Wars or Jurassic Park, you already know in your head. You're, oh, you're there. Pitching, you're there. You're like, oh yeah, that's classic. That nostalgia. Exactly. <clears throat> <laughs> I will say, however, <laughs> during the Star Wars portion, oh, yeah. there's this lady with, like, everyone had, like, their lightsabers out and, like, like you get them at the front or whatever. And, like, it's it's cool to see because, like, it's like it's dark at this point, but you see all, like, the red, the blue, the green blades. This lady behind us had one that she got from, like, the store or whatever. It had the sound and everything. So on top of, like, uh, like basically louder, right in my ear was this loud... <laughs> Oh God! Some people have no concert etiquette. Through the majority of the Star Wars bit, which was a shame because that asteroids chase is one of my favorite pieces from Empire, mm-hmm. and all I remember is the goddamn hum. Oh my yeah. stupid lightsaber! Yeah. They had the only lightsaber that actually made a noise. Should have stabbed her with a lightsaber. Yeah, the only one. Like it would, it would go off after like a few minutes, and it would be dead silent. Like from the audience and then right back, like right back on for like two thirds of the thing. It feels like a curb your enthusiasm moment. (laughs) Like you go to the star Wars concert. And of course the lady with the noisiest lightsaber is right in your fucking ear. Yeah. Yeah. She was also loud at some other moments. Like besides that, like she was just like, Oh yeah. Yelling. She was like, if he plays something, I'll piss myself. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yeah, no, she was quote. she was like, having she, a good time. Yeah, she was having a good time, but she was just yeah. like really loud and obnoxious. She was like, "Oh, John Williams, <laughs> I can't hate on somebody for being loud." He's the, the soundtrack to our childhood, the soundtrack to our childhood. I'm telling yeah. you. Mm-hmm. But she, she by like, herself? She, no, she was like with her entire friends and family behind us. Yeah. They were all really loud and like talking and. It was just and another one had a loud lightsaber too. There was two of those things. There were two loud lightsabers. Yeah. But other than that, it was dope as fuck. No one said anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was very cool. Yeah. So how many Pesci's does the John Williams live concert get? Ooh. Dude, also he came out and he dueled. As, oh, yeah. that, dueled? as a man in his nineties. Yeah, he, oh, yeah, he's he, flipping around like end, Yoda. Yeah, Yoda! Yoda. <laughs> yeah. like Christopher in, Lee. No, in the end, he brought out the uh, the Italian, this Italian dude who actually leads the Philharmonic right the now. Guest conductor, he, yeah, the guest conductor. He he brought him out at the end, and they both had lightsabers, and they were conducting the orchestra with the lightsabers. That's so cool. <laughs> it was fucking it was awesome. 
I would have rather him conducted it with his dick. <laughs> oh, oh, <man>. Condicted. <laughs> Ooh, that should be a villain in your universe, the Condictor. Oh, he's a yeah. former. I already got it. <laughs> okay, former maestro of an orchestra naturally gets his dick blasted off by Just Nito or one of my many cock-oriented heroes. <laughs> Go from there. Or just go <laughs> there. Perfect. The Legion of Cock. There we go. The Legion of Cock. That's just... <laughs> we're not getting creative anymore. We're just like... <laughs> the Justice League of Dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, subtlety oh, has never man. been this universe's strong suit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know what else is not subtle? <laughs> well before we get into it i want to hear what's new with joey one-on-one like what in his personal oh, yeah. what's good what what's what art are you working on what's you're doing in the middle of marvel month aren't you yeah i'm uh i'm doing some projects on the side and in between i have a couple of marvel month characters that i'm doing like characters that i know you know that i can, i know that i can do in like one evening instead of you know i don't know who like the wizard, I think was today, which is a I don't know who the fuck the, the wizard yeah, is. The wizard, yeah, like he's just he's just like uh, whizzes on everyone. I assume. Uh, I'm, the R. Kelly yeah, so of the Marvel some Universe. Of the-, <laughs> <laughs> the wizard. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm working on that. I'm doing a, a thing for uh, a couple of friends of mine got married a couple months ago, and they wanted me to do their uh, thank you card illustration. Uh, so I'm working on that as well. Nice. Uh, in between content. all of that, I'm in the process of moving, so that's been fun. Uh, which actually is, is pretty exciting. Uh, I'm gonna have my own spot, you know, just me and my cat, and I don't know it's a it's a good little location, not too much further from work than I am now, but I'll have a ceiling fan, so at least I won't be too hot. That's what I'm excited for. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one stipulation is to have a ceiling fan. Fuck yeah! But other than Cody, that, you're, you, Cody, can't hear you. nothing. Can you hear me at all? Oh, now I can. I thought you were saying something. Oh, I was just saying nice. (laughs) 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 That's Cody's breadwinner, right? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Delivery. (laughs) 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 I think that would be great for like a, a Brita filter commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Someone like pours themselves a glass and they drink it. And then like even if nice. it's like a, a yeah, a young woman, but when she says it and looks at the camera, it's your voice. <laughs> and then it's like nice. <laughs> that would be Incredible. perfect. Nice. Well, you know oh. what else is perfect? <laughs> you know what else is perfect? Hey. <laughs> this segue. Yeah. Yeah. Super guy. Tell tell us. Like what's Tell us the, a, how, yeah. How, how did it come happen? to be? All right. So um I get a message on Twitter from this guy Hunter. Him and his friend James work on they did this anthology called Unknown Heroes. And they they they're doing the second volume. So the anthology is called Unknown Heroes Volume Two. And they reached out, they're like, Hey, do you want to do a 10 page story for this anthology? And I was like, Fuck yeah. Like I kind of said yes with no plan at all, but I was like, mm. this is an opportunity, come knock, and I'm not going to say no. And yeah. um, I thought about it for a little while, and then I was like, who's who's an artist I know, whose art I really like, and who I know that like we could just do something fucking awesome? And that was Joey. Like Joey immediately came to mind. Nah. And, I, and I think when I even mentioned it to you guys, Jake was immediately like, dude, Joey. Because <laughs> I, I sincerely love your art, Joey. Like, I wouldn't ask you no. to do this just because, like, you could, dr- like, I just love your style. Like, I literally have on my bookshelf, uh, Bear's Grand Day, you know, like, ah, thank you very much. Your stuff is so cool to me. And I wanted to do something to match that style. And Super Guy, I think, is exactly that, where it's, it's not, it's, I want to say cartoonish, right? Like, it's, it's meant to be, not like super serious, like I'm Superman, I'm Batman. It's more like comedy, but with still some stakes, you know? Yeah. 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 And when you sent me the script, it was just like, like I saw it immediately, like as I read it, like exactly what it was. And I just got so excited. Like, I cannot wait to start working on this. And I mean, I think it's a masterpiece personally. (laughs) 
<laughs> so how did the character was like right away where it was super guy, what you came up with when you got offered the spot? Like, did you instantly did, like, like design wise, you, you mean like what he looks like? Yeah. Or like, Anthony, did yeah, you write yeah. anything about how super guy should look or did you let Joey come up so, with shit? No. no, like Joey, it was all Joey. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I, we yeah. talked about it, right? Like I was like, I want yeah. super guy. Like there's a character in Ratchet and Clank called Captain Quark. If you guys played Ratchet yeah. and Clank. Yeah, of course, of course. And I picture he's like a big doofy like hero that everyone thinks is the hero, but he's really not. Like he's just like a piece of crap and he really doesn't have <laughs> anything <laughs> to back it up. And Joey knew exactly who I was talking about. And he, he, he you, you have, like, if you've seen him, it, like, and it, it has, like, the soul of him. And, and Joey, like, the first design, I was like, yes, yes. Like, Joey saw it in his <laughs> head. I somehow conveyed that with my words. And, like, that was the thing about this whole comic. Joey immediately, right, like, there was, like, maybe we met and talked on Zoom, like, once or twice. And that's all yeah. that was needed. Like you got it right away. Like I, I, it's not like the script and I could show you guys the script. It's not like it's super detailed. Like Joey was just like, huh, boom. Like, it's just like, we clicked so <laughs> well. Like I have to keep stressing that. Like, especially for you, Joey, like it just worked out so well. No, I agree. It's one of the, my favorite parts of the whole uh, production was just how like there was no bumping of heads or any type of like, no, nah, I think it should be. Nah, I think it should be. It was yeah. just like, oh, bing, bang, boom. Here we go. Nice. It's great. Seamless, and that's like how I wanted the whole process to go. To go, you know, because Gal. for me, this gal- <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why I mocked you. I can't talk. No, this is take, take me down a peg while we talk about to go my go dream. <laughs> but no, so like the whole thing for me was like I, I thought of a few ideas. I ran them by Joey. Joey's like super guy. That's the one. And and the name too was not like something that was debated. It was just like super gosh, yeah, that Joey liked it. I was like, all right, <laughs> let's do that. Like nothing. It, that's the thing. Like nothing was ever really removed. We just added some things from like the bare bones, and it just became what it was. Like Joey put all the magic into it. Wait, I have a question. Go for it. For this anthology, were, were there parameters that you had to abide right. by? You're absolutely right. Uh, okay. The theme was superhero team up, so it okay. could be. You know, a hero teams up with a villain or a hero teams up with a hero. Some people already have like established characters, so they were able to do their own thing. But this is from scratch. This is Joey and I's universe. You know, we're yeah. this is our thing. You yeah. decided to do hero villain team up. Kind, kind of, of, yeah. In a way. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Well, because we see in the end. No, oh, spoiler alert. Yeah. Way to tell Bro? everyone what the exact yeah. ending of the comic is. <laughs> oh, I didn't say who did it. Yeah. <laughs> True, true. <laughs> uh, if you haven't, well, they won't have read this. No. So that's, the, so that's the thing. So maybe we avoid some direct spoilers. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it later. Wait, but when does it come out? When is it? That's the thing. So the thing, I think this anthology is coming out sometime in the fall. Like there's no, there's no exact date as far as I'm aware. Like it depends on how long it takes to print and then ship out because it's a Kickstarter. So this was Kickstarter run. Uh, it was fully funded. So we're just waiting on, on the antho- anthology to print. There's, I don't remember how many stories, maybe eight, eight, like 10 page stories. And we can, we can print our own copy yeah. ourselves, right? Yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. Yeah. And would we have to wait until after the book comes out first or can we just be like, Hey, here's our, book and then there's also more if you want to read others in the fall that's a good point like i actually asked the guy and he was like if you don't like basically the kickstarter is saying when you buy this anthology you're exclusively getting these stories these comics so Mm -hmm. what he told me was wait until it's out and then do your thing nice so i I respect that i totally get that people paid to get that comic on kickstarter so i don't want to like supersede that so it's like yeah I wait, like we could print them beforehand and just, we're just not like putting them out in the world yet, mm-hmm. but that's exactly what I would love to do because this is, I don't know. We've, we've talked, we haven't talked about plans for the future ne- necessarily, but I feel like it's something we both want to keep working on. Absolutely. Yeah. I love this universe already. I want to see more <laughs> of this guy. Joey, did you tell Anthony about a possible new character? <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, not yet. I was, I was waiting for the podcast. <laughs> uh, oh, I love this. So the other night, uh, I was over at Jake's house and we were getting pretty stony baloney. Uh, and what were we, oh, we were playing Smash Brothers, and nice. uh, we came up with this character, this 
extraneous detail, whatever. Just paint you guys a picture. You know, uh, we came up with this guy, this this character called Laser Guy. Laser <laughs> Guy, okay. <laughs> Which sounded like like an antagonist, maybe not like like an arch nemesis quality, but like definitely someone who causes trouble. Uh, mm. by pointing laser pointers in people's eyes and distracting them while he runs <laughs> off with like yeah. robbing a bank or some some small petty crime, but he thinks he's way bigger than he is and you know, just like, ha ha, I got you. Like, oh, damn it, laser guy. Oh, oh. <laughs> My retinas. <laughs> I love that. I love that. He could cause some serious damage to people's ocular oh, vision. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> laser guy. Yeah, that's that's his, his weakness is sunglasses. <laughs> I love that. So yeah. Super Guy is obviously like a kind of trash like tra- not trash in quality but trash in the sense of like like he's a an, an analogy for like a scummy Superman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How would he go toe to toe with Superman? Would he get crushed? Mm, I think uh you know, Superman I think he could would hold to, his own for Yeah, Superman would have to watch out for Super Guy. Yeah. I feel like he's so I don't know, like how do I like Super Guy just doesn't care enough to get uh hurt enough to call it quit. Like I don't know, like he'll he'll get banged up and scratched up and he'll want to be like, ah no, but I feel like his ego is just like, no, nah, I, I gotta at least finish this. Or have someone else fight for me, really, is what he'll He'll, he'll find he'll a like, ways. Exactly. Yeah. He'll do it yeah. in, in the least amount of effort possible. He'll he'll figure it out. Because Superman's got kryptonite. Oh yeah, we don't think what are what are don't have a kryptonite for super guys. Yeah. yeah, he doesn't have a weak weakness, Jake. Do you think uh, weakness <laughs> is bred into our superheroes, Jake? I don't think so. No. I, I, I just realized what the weakness is, Anthony. Oh. Pride. Pride <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> But I feel like he would he'd be like, yeah, I'll fight you, but like I'm right in the middle of the season of the Sopranos. I gotta finish the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'll think about it, maybe. Maybe. Why did you choose the colors you chose for Super Guy? Mm-hmm. Um, well, I went through a couple of different uh ideas, and that was the one that just kind of meshed the like the best. Yeah. So like the the blue and dark blue <laughs> with the white gloves and the gold trim. I feel like the the gold trim really kind of speaks to his gold like, trim is- hey, like, yeah, I got superpowers, but also look at look at how look at right shiny I am. Yeah, and I also, yeah, that was something we talked about, like white gloves. Like white gloves could get easily dirty, so if you're putting on white gloves, you're not really expecting exactly. to like anything to happen to it. It's more about the yeah. style. So like the gold, the white, the the blue. It, it mm-hmm. just re- like because Joey did it in in a few different color palettes. But that was the one that really made sense. That's the thing about like just making this like, and I and I have to keep going back to that. If I, I keep getting, if any of us get are getting hung up about our creative decisions, then it's just going to slow it down. And like this is something we kind of had to get out faster. <laughs> Do you think that that benefited you guys? The fact that you had to get it out by a certain time? Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, because nice. it, it forced me to to like sit down and do it instead of being like, yeah, I'll get to it like. After this season of Sopranos, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of cool because, like, yeah, no, I appreciate a, a hard you, deadline, right? I yeah, do too. It's funny because I guess, I guess, in a way, like we all do. If you read comic books, just because, like, obviously, I don't buy the individual issues, but these motherfuckers churn out shit once a week, you know, multiple uh-huh. times a month. Like these writers are constantly. So it's cool that you guys can do that. Yeah, you need a quick. You need to have a quick turnaround in the comic book industry. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But another thing is like I'm the kind of person that have, has like I haven't really done like the podcast is is creative but it's creative in a different way like I hadn't yeah, really sat down sure. and like fo- you know what I mean so I hadn't really sat down and like focused on a story story in a while and I knew that the only way I was going to get over my stupid like uh you know imposter syndrome writer's block was to just do it so I love that Joey was like on board yes 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 so I wrote it yes he drew it. Yes. Like there was no, like there wasn't really drafts. Like it was just like perfect. Like, you know, not to exaggerate, but it was just there. And that made it so much do easier. It. Like, and, and another <laughs> thing was like, I only like Joey only showed me the art as far as I know. And I only showed him the writing and I didn't show, I usually show friends and I'm like, Hey, like usually I would go to you guys and be like, Hey, can you read this? And you'll give me feedback this time. I was like, no, no, I can't do that this time because it's going to fuck me up. And funnily enough, and this is after I wrote it recently, and then I'm going to stop talking because I'm talking too much. 
I saw this Bill Hader. No. Uh, I saw this really cool Bill Hader clip recently. It's been going around the internet, and he's talking about how, like, if you show someone your writing or something you created, and they're telling you, um, they're saying uh, that doesn't work. Listen to them. But if they're telling you why it doesn't work, don't listen to them. And that I was thinking about that while I was writing this because I was like, I know if I show Jake, Cody, uh, my wife Emily, Kent, everyone's going to say something different. You know what I mean? And and that always fucks me up. So I was like, I got to trust my own creative power this time around. You, you and really just got to trust me. <laughs> my, 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 my input is the only valuable input you would have gotten. Out of <laughs> <laughs> but you guys get what I mean? Like, you know, Cody, oh, yeah. like, I, I'm sure you might feel that way with like comedy routines. Like, you, you know, like you have to trust yourself. Yeah, I rarely run a routine by somebody before I do it. You know what I mean? I believe it. Like I usually Your just stuff is so raw too, like in a good way. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like it feels so real. That's what I've always liked about your standup, Cody. That it, it doesn't feel like you're like, oh, I wrote this joke. Like it just feels like you're telling us something that happened last week, like you do here. That's kind of like the kind of comic I want to be. I want to be a uh, storyteller, and you know what I mean. Uh, I'm just that's the kind of comedy I excel at. I don't know. Nice. I can't wait to see it in L.A. Yeah, I'm so excited, Joey. I'm excited to just give you a big old hug, buddy. Ah, I'm excited for that. (laughs) Wait, so Cody, this episode is coming out literally next week. So so the the week before I'm shows. Oh, yeah. Shit. So my three shows in L.A. for anyone listening in L.A., I'm going to be at Good Heroin, which is a show at Stories. I think is the name of the bookstore in Echo Park. Yeah. Stories in Echo Park. And uh, yeah, July 29th at 7 p.m. 29th at 7 p.m. Sunday is Chatterbox and Covina. Covina. Yeah. Covina. Uh, And that's 8 p.m. Is that 8 p.m.? That's 8 p.m. Yeah. Sunday, July 30th. Yes. And Monday, uh, I'm in Culver City at the Blind Barber doing the Monday secret show at the Blind Barber. The best part about that, (laughs) 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 the best part about that show is that it's literally a four minute walk. That's honestly why I, from my my apartment. (laughs) I actually know one of the hosts. It's not well, but I do. And that's when I saw that it was in Culver City. That's why I was like, oh, I'm doing that on Monday, no matter what. That's a cool spot. It's both an actual barbershop and it has a little speakeasy in the back with with a room and bar and everything. Nice. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's right. It's tucked away right over here. It's like you would never know it's there. It's like near a fucking Best Buy and like a nail salon. And then nice. It's cool. Well. I'm doing that Monday secret show, baby. But yeah, I'm gonna be in LA. I'm really excited. I honestly, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna talk about this for a second more, and then I want to get back to you guys. But I'm just like really grateful uh, because I don't know. This is the first time I've traveled to one of the major cities, and it really feels like all of my hard work's been paying off, and it just feels good. Okay. It feels nice. You know what Fuck I mean? Yeah. Like the other ones, I guess it's hap- it happened the last time I was in New York too. But this time, like it feels way, it's like way significantly easier than it was when I was even last at fall in New York. Fuck yes, dude! Congrats, oh, yeah. seriously. Yeah, coming up, grateful. Cody Cannon on the come up. Cody Cannon's come up. Hey, Cody um, Cannon's come up. <laughs> 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 we love alliteration. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, I, I want to hear about the super guy come up. Are you guys going to keep this project going? I mean, I'm down. I'd love to. Yeah, we're both down. It, 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 yeah. de- it depends, right? Like, honestly, like in today's day and age, like, okay, this is both our first comic, right? So I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not expecting like one comic we write suddenly Marvel's knocking on someone's door like that. <laughs> I don't think that happens. But, <laughs> but I think that. Um, if we could use the super guy story to pitch to an actual comic book company, you know what I mean? Like what, who, you know, who I really like Ahoy comics, Mark Russell does a lot of comics for them. They're, they're a bit more quirky. They're, they're just, who does like bone, who does bone, bone, uh, bone. 
I don't know. That's I do that rabbit one too. That's like the it's like rodent, but the rabbit or whatever. I feel like you guys are also in the bone realm. But I yeah. get what you mean. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of the like, bone realm. <laughs> the bone realm. Super guy in the bone realm. Ooh, that's a mean <laughs> issue. New whatever adventure. that means. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not fighting bones. Get the fuck out of here. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, he that's just goes back guy. out. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's actually about something completely different. <laughs> um, but I would love to keep working on it. But like, yeah, I would love to like make it something that more people, more people could see. You know, not this is not an anthology that's widespread. So it's kind of, uh, and that's really for any comic. It's up to you to get the word out about your comic and and hope people like it. Like, so I I, I really do want to know what you guys think about it. Spoiler free, if you can. <laughs> Spoiler free. If you can, you know, I'm 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 not married to the idea of genuinely no Okay, so this is like the art super cute. Who okay, where did you get the inspiration for the president being such a dick bag? I mean the president is a dick bag, exactly. but always, <laughs> but but like this he one had, is the like the president had hard uh Jameson energy. Yeah, yeah, he did. Which is not a bad mm-hmm. thing. I, I just liked it. Like when I was reading it, it, it read like very Joe J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> nice. Like, ah, oh, super guy, damn aliens are him. Like, yeah. always we're rabble rousing. Uh, you know, that was cool. So where did you guys get that? Ins- where where did that come from? What was, where were you, go- well, like, are they, they're clearly going to have to work together in the future, but in a, like a resentful manner. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. They'll be reluctant, but it'll be necessary for sure. Yeah. You're talking about the, the president, the president, the president. super guy. Yeah. Talk to yeah Cause the like their character. Oh mm. yeah. Robot guy. Well, so, uh, what? See, spoilers? that's not a spoiler. No, I, no. I, I, we put pages out that show robot guy. We've talked oh, yeah. about robot. Guy. So robot guy is not a spoiler. Yeah. He's, <laughs> right. he's a major character in this comic. It, it might as well be called robot guy. If you, you know, you want to go there, he gets a lot of screen time, so to speak. Oh, for sure. Dude. I thought it was really good. It's just because it's 11 pages. 10 pages, yeah. 10 pages, 10 pages. It's just like, ah, I want more. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I mean? We could only fit so much in 10 pages. We've talked about no, that sure. too. <laughs> I would have read a solid like 25 page book of that. Thank you. Oh, I would have made a 25, book yeah. page. <laughs> yeah, 25 yeah. page book. I th- that's almost the only drawback of the comic book is that it's like a little, there's not page. enough. It was yeah. starting <laughs> to stroke me. And I was like, Oh, <laughs> and then I was like, Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> because I like of that, that Jake that's, just that's, uh, um, uh, uh, described being edged uh, without saying a single yeah. word. Yeah. <laughs> the, the 10 pages is a real edge lord thing to do. Uh, it's, it's anthology, though. Made. It's anthology. Edgy. That's why it's got to be 10 pages. So here's my. Uh, so essentially, you're hoping this book is like your. Uh, Type five to send to bigger Ooh, things. You and got it. Get dude. yourself. Nice. Fuck yeah, that's <laughs> a great Mary way to put Kate it. Seriously, Ashley over here. <laughs> 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 no, but that's a, gr- a great way to put it. Like yeah, that's no, it this <laughs> is the type five. It, it's super tight. No pun intended. Yeah. It's, it's, hey, it oh. is like tight. No, I think we mm. did make it as tight as possible because it's ten pages. You don't have a lot of real estate. You know what I mean. Yeah. Hey, we're using all these cool terms today. <laughs> <laughs> Real estate. The cool terms. Real estate. <laughs> <laughs> Our listeners are like, what is he talking yeah, about? Man. I don't understand the lingo. Oh, boy. Oh, man. <laughs> Super guy, pretty super fly. <laughs> no, I uh, I like true. it a lot, and I'm not just saying that because you're my dude. Uh, like it's not, it's it's very much just. You can tell it's it's very much like a. I, I see what you're trying. I like when you describe like how you wanted to do a good story, but have it only be ten page. You only had ten pages to do it, and you wanted it, so you like set up for more, but it had to like wrap. No, exactly. I don't know. It, it's really well done. Uh, it felt like a good, solid. Like it. It was like a. It was not a hail mary. You guys weren't like swinging blindly. It felt like a really accurate, like a little. You know, you weren't trying to knock them out in one punch. You were just like delivering a like really tight, powerful taste of what's to come. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, exactly. I th- I it was like when the McRib it. first dropped. <laughs> <laughs> People were like, what? I don't even know what that's implying. <laughs> and then it went away. It it, it 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 came as you know as quick as it went or whatever, vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I really like. So the next step, obviously, is to do a full twenty-two issue comic. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So, so a 22 page comic is going to be completely different. Like there's a lot of questions I'm sure people will have about super guy and robot guy that you just more can't complexity. answer. Are we going to get more complex? I mean, I think part of it Who is knows? like, yeah, like, but, it but could, I do like could. the like simplicity of it. Not yeah, to say this that you're, doesn't, I would almost rather this just be a simple comic. And if Anthony and Joey want to do, they can, they can always do a new project. You know what I mean? It's true too. Yeah. yeah. But but like I don't know. Like I think like your art and the way the way Super Guy is, like we we it shouldn't get too complicated. Super it shouldn't be a comic that Super Guy himself would be like, ah, too complicated. I'm not I'm not reading this. You know, like like I think <laughs> yeah. like I don't like minimalist is the wrong word for like their names and stuff, but like there was no effort put into like what is that guy's name? It's Super Guy. It's Robot Guy. It's the president. You know, like it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's the big the city. President. The big city. Yeah, I love that too. And the that was Joey's city. idea, right? Like that's, it's not all yeah. like oh, we got to stress this too. Seriously, like when you look at a comic, right? Like Joey drew it, he colored it, yeah. he lettered it, he paneled it. Yeah, I just wrote it. I just wrote a ten page script. Joey did way more for this comic than I did. Like, yes, I came up with the idea, but it's such a collaborative effort. And like, I have to just thank you, Joey, like a million times that like, this doesn't happen without you at all. Like, I can't do this a fraction of this. I can't mimic a fraction of your power. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know what to say. (laughs) So what I think I'm saying, (laughs) I think that's what I'm, what I'm hearing is that Anthony is Emperor Palpatine, and <laughs> Joey was the clone army. Uh, what? You don't even get him beat, <laughs> man. <laughs> he no, even get I, to I'm be just Anakin. saying. I'm just saying. Like he no, did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> I always do that. I have a thought yes. right at like fucking inhaling. But he's he's the one who came up with the idea and is pulling all the strings. But the clones are doing all the fighting, and there's a lot of them. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. That, yeah, that yeah, basically, yeah. like, you were the one behind the scenes, but he was the one that essentially, like, without the clones, I don't have an know, army. I exactly. don't. Exactly. My plan does not go off at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do you think Palpatine could have executed Order sixty six on his own? Hell Literally, no. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. No, no, sir. But I think that's an important point for comic books. Like you can't do it alone unless you could, like if Joey could easily do it alone, I think <laughs> like he has all Maybe, the tools. Yeah. yeah, it's true. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> seriously, so, um, Joey, you, you do a, lo- a lot of your, I mean, all of your art and your artistic endeavors are other than like when like commissions where you're kind of like have to do whatever, but what I'm trying to say is, what was it like for you working with somebody for the first time? Was this your first time in a big collaborative effort? It is, yeah. Like That's outside of like portrait commissions and stuff, this was the first big uh, start to finish thing. Um, I don't know. It, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it like working with a partner uh, yeah. on your? It end? was. I mean, you it was great. From like, Anthony, I'm sick of it. <laughs> no, it was it was pretty cool. Uh it was good to like have someone to like bounce the idea off of and like once I like have like an initial sketch or you know like you know a, a little progress point to be like, hey, like like I have Anthony to be like, yeah, how's this what do you think? How's it coming along? That's like in on it instead of like someone from an outside perspective who like may not know the context or anything, being like, Oh yeah, that looks good. Which is like, <laughs> yeah, thank you. But like <laughs> it was, it was cool to have like a, a partner to work with. So I'm just interested. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, nothing. I was just gonna say I I do it again. It was, nice. it cool. Hell yeah, same here. I uh, <laughs> I just uh, for me it was. Uh, um, sorry, there's a lot of gnats in my motherfucking house. <laughs> 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 really fucking. 
My roommate threw a fucking tangerine in the garbage can, and that uh, thing started. Uh, yeah, and, I, and didn't tell me or, or take it out. And now there's just uh, fucking. I'm losing my mind. Uh, kick him out. Oh, but what I was gonna say was, I, I, it just interests me because stand up is so uh, solitary. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like other than the camaraderie of hanging out with other stand ups, there's not really any. There's no creative collaboration, you know what I mean? For the mm-hmm. most part. At least yeah. like where I'm at or what I'm doing. So it's cool to I like hearing about what it's like for other people to work as a team. <laughs> it was fun for me too. I, I, I do like working as a team. Like if if we weren't clicking, then that was gonna be a problem, but we clicked oh, right yeah. away. That's <laughs> like it's not easy to work with a, a writing partner or or a creative team if someone's not you know, you just don't. Well, I also kind of like, I mean, looking back into your past, I knew you had done team stuff. You did all that sketch comedy. Yeah. Yeah. So for you, I was more interested in like hearing Joey because he hasn't done. I like art. People who draw don't tend to do big collaborative things often, you know? Yeah. Not, not too often, at least not in my immediate world. And draw is an oversimplification. Uh, (laughs) And another thing like that, Joey, you, you said like, you know, like it's, it's 10 pages and we were done. Like, and we have it, it exists now. Like it's not printed, but it's done. Like there's no, there's no going back. There's no more drafts to do. We finished it. It feels so good to complete a creative project. I don't, I can't say that enough in my life, you know? And it it really does. Like I'm super proud. Like, Super, uh, like, like finish it. It's like, it just, it's there. And it's just such a cool feeling to be like, we fucking made something. We made There's, a comic book. We fucking that made is getting, book. I mean, it, it definitely like a Kickstarter, but still a published comic book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which looks good on a resume. Yeah. Like but I mean, it, even sure. fuck a portfolio. Just like that's pretty fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> I would just like like to be able to be like, yeah, I wrote a comic book once, or I drew a. Com- I mean, I'll never be able to draw anything, but you know, well, I don't know. Practice. No. Stick. Start with a stick figure. Work your way up to a, a bigger stick figure. figure. <laughs> a bigger stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> A thicker stick uh, figure. You get thicker and thicker. Joey, and there we go. <laughs> so are, you're a uh, as like a comic book fan and stuff, and uh, being an artist, were you like hoping to break into comics at some point? Was that a goal, or were you just like, I'm trying None. to do my art, I'm trying to do my cartoons, I'm just trying to like enjoy expressing myself? And yeah, then Anthony like- presented you with the idea, you know. Yeah, that's kind of how what like like basically I was just kind of enjoying doing my own thing for a little bit and like tr- kind of like teasing with the idea of like getting into some industry usually like animation or whatnot like I don't know it was, there was a lot going on and like didn't know what I was gonna do um, and I never really thought of doing comics like that uh, until this came along and like I had done a couple like in the past like with like through Inktober I've done like just like. 31 page short story things and that was just like a fun little project but like like it was mostly just for me you know yeah. but yeah like i it the idea did occur to me when we were doing super guy that was like man this is kind of a lot of fun like this would be a fun job to have is be like oh yeah i draw the comic books or like like any comic book really but like i hadn't really thought about it until then uh Still kind of thinking about it, but I'm, I think I, I prefer doing it like on my time for now instead of, mm-hmm. you know, my turnaround isn't quite as fast as the pros. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for you know, I have sure. to work I mean, on the speed. Yeah. But no, uh, but you have to think about this. You did like four or five separate jobs, right? Like in a traditional comic book scheme, the same that's person true. that's... That's uh, penciling, no, that is, isn't that's inking a fair it, point. You would have just isn't drawn it. You wouldn't it. have colored it. Exactly. You wouldn't have, it. You wouldn't have lettered it. So you did the job of. That's a fair like point. Shows how much I know about the comic industry. <laughs> <laughs> I no, think it's an important point. I didn't point. even think about that until Anthony just said that. You're right. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, it, like comics take a lot of work, and and not only did you do all those things, but you did them fucking ten out of ten, six out of six, Joe Pesci. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like for me. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
I think so too. But seriously, because like your art style is so so unique, and that's another reason why I approach you. Like, and I think when people see Super Guy, it doesn't look like other other superhero comics you've read. Like, part of us being funny is is I think part of that art too. Like, it's not again, it's not like the super serious chiseled like. He's yeah. not chubby. He's not like he's, in shape. He's got some squish to him. Yeah. He's got a little bit of squish. <laughs> he likes to eat. He likes to hang out on yeah. his beanbag chair. Golf oh, boys yeah. can be superheroes too. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Our male role models don't have to be fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger like muscle head. <laughs> no. <laughs> Less Star Lord, more Andy Dwyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay. Would you guys, have you guys seen enough of, of these, th- so I would say these three characters: Super Guy, Robot Guy, the President. That you would be like, okay, I could see an actor cast as this in the Super Guy live action movie, because that that's in the pipeline too. You know, it's way down the pipeline, but <laughs> it's there. Okay, it's on the vision board. <laughs> it's on the vision board. <laughs> okay, so for Super Guy, for Super Guy, for Super Guy, I'm gonna give Jonah Hill. Oh no! Jonah. In light of oh. recent events, too. <laughs> yes, especially of because of yeah, recent events. Special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. Jonah Hill, oh, man. I hate that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know about Jonah Hill. <laughs> <laughs> but what's your problem? <laughs> Just that he was, uh, he, the way he handles his relationships is awful. Oh man, you guys better kick me off the podcast. <laughs> 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 I mean, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, guess, yeah, I can I can see that. Uh, but I feel I'm like you get too A-line close to his character and, uh, <laughs> what was that? Megamind. You know, he kind of was, he was kind of that kind of yeah. superhero. Yeah. Spoilers if you haven't seen Megamind. <laughs> I'm trying to think of an elderly actor for the president. Like, I know there's white guys out there that look like the president. (laughs) Well, I'm just going to go ahead and say, if we weren't going to do J. Jonah Jameson himself. um, Oh, J.K. Simmons? Christopher Walken. (laughs) Of course. (laughs) Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken as the president. Christopher Walken. (laughs) He's playing the emperor in Dune. Is he? Oh, Shit. Interesting. That's awesome. It looks cool. Here, there, There's already like two trailers now. I was thinking about uh, re-watching the first Dune again, just because it's been a while. I haven't watched it since theaters, actually. So. I re-watched it on my new big TV, and it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> dude, I'll bet. That thing is huge. I know. It's obnoxious. <laughs> Like your entire living room wall or something, pretty much. It's yeah. pretty sweet. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It's yeah. actually like I, I've become so much happier since I bought it. Serve that, Jake. <laughs> Earned it. Serve happiness. Um, we should we should start gearing towards the wind down. Yeah, that's cool. Well, shit. I mean, I think that's our cue. We're at the Joe Pesci Nexus. We've yeah, arrived. The next season. We have yeah. arrived. Right. Um, first, I th- I want to hear. Do you guys, as creators, give yourselves six out of sixes? Oh, yeah. What do you guys oh, yeah. give? You? Without a you doubt. give each other. And then what do you guys give your own final product? Six. Yeah. Six is all around. We wouldn't yeah, put we... out trash. No. <laughs> <laughs> Cody? I'm going to say... Three point eight. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. Yeah. Six. <laughs> six. I'm definitely doing a six. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. No, it was funny. Uh, it was funny. It was interesting. Everyone does Superman stories, but never really like this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Robot Guy was super cool. You, the setup for what's to come was satisfying. Um, six out of six. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. I've ran the numbers. <laughs> right. I, I've, I've crunched it through the equations, my calculations, my graphs. And, but also, because you edged me, you pushed me to the edge and didn't finish to completion, and it left me wanting for more, I'm giving it, I'm gonna give it a 5.9. Ooh, ah. The gladiator. Okay. Oh. <laughs> but it doesn't matter 
because you, Joey, and Cody gave it a 666. I like yeah. that uh, while Anthony's figuring out his soundboard, he he looks exactly like a dude who's DJing. <laughs> All DJs are going to hell. <laughs> That's a sentiment I agree with, Satan. <laughs> you and hell, Cody. Huh? Oh, I'll be there, buddy, with bells on. I'm excited. With bells on. <laughs> <laughs> Satan, did you read Super Guy? Ooh. Listen, Super Guy is a superb <laughs> comic. It did all the right notes. It may have edged Jake, but maybe, you know, maybe I'm a one minute man, I guess. That's the devil's <laughs> nickname. Because it really got me. So thank you, Joey. Thank you, Anthony. Uh, uh, I appreciate it, Satan. You, know, you guys, go to have it. You get a pass for this one. <laughs> get out of here. I live here. <laughs> it does it, suck Satan. that every time we summon Satan, he only shows up in Anthony's house. I wish <laughs> he's been following me around my whole life, maybe, guys. I don't know what to maybe. do. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it's because you're the altar boy. Yeah, he wants my soul, but I won't give it to him. He wants to suck my soul out, but I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would let him suck my soul out. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, man, <laughs> I like my soul. Sorry. All right, well, we do too. Thanks for coming <laughs> in, you guys. <laughs> One hundred fifty episodes. Check out our Patreon. Oh, yeah. Do it. Check Congrats, out the Patreon. Guys. Thank, hey, thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. We're also Joey's essentially the honorary fourth member. Thank yep. you for uh joining us buddy for you listeners joey does all of our art also yeah he's wearing it right now yeah the kick-ass logo Great, uh, look at that he's wearing kick-ass that you can, buy, you can buy that we have a, sh- a merch shop just go to our website you can also buy this shit at our website comics and boom you sign up for our patreon it's only what is it 4.99 a month five dollars yeah let's say 4.99 a month <laughs> <laughs> Look, studies and advertisement have, have been proven that if you say four ninety nine, even though it's just one penny less, it still tricks the consumer's brain. You know? Yeah, so we're not guys, tricking you though. So yeah, it's it's only four ninety nine. <laughs> also, if you haven't rated us yet on Spotify and Apple, do that. It's 150 episodes. If you've been listening this far, just fucking rate us already and write a review because we need more reviews. That helps. You lazy sacks of shit. Yeah. Now, uh, can we how rate about multiple you reviews? Us for once, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Right? You should start making fake accounts and being like, these guys are awesome. Yeah, do you have <laughs> I think that's okay. Oh, yeah. Boost those numbers. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, i'm yes. high as the dickens thanks for tuning in to our 150th episode thanks for joey for being a guest oh, thanks for having me congratulations to the both of you thanks yeah so, yeah you guys published the congratulations comic anthony congrats joey first comic done <clears throat> well all right dude joey we won't keep you anymore sorry oh it's all good Go on, get. (laughs) Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. Hi, you're listening to Comics and Chronic, and I'm Jacob H. I'm Cody Cannon. And I'm Anthony Iannaccio. And you can tune in every Thursday to hear new episodes of Comics and Chronic. And make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter, at Comics and Chronic. That's Comics, the letter N, Chronic. We'll see you guys next week. Woo! Peace.